And an example of that is uh, when um, in my last campaign, uh, which I won by 64%, it was a con competitive district, it was half of Staten Island and different parts of Brooklyn. Um, and uh, it was a competitive race, and I was earmarked uh, to be defeated because um, there are two things I want to mention about that. I was called into the office of the majority leader. I was ha getting $130,000 in member items, which were goodies we take back to the district, and the majority leader said, you're the type of person, responsible person, uh, which we'd like to have uh, in our party. We could give you between two and three million dollars to take to your district. Now, the, is this our present majority leader? That's the present majority leader. Uh, and in the middle of the conversation, the phone rings, and it's uh, our most recent ex-governor, uh, George Pataki, was on the phone, and I stood up to leave. And uh, uh, Senator Bruno said, "No, no, don't leave. Sit down." And I thought it was going to be a call to Bruno. And he put the governor on speaker, and uh, uh, Bruno said, by the way, we have Senator Lackman here. And uh, George Pataki said, oh, Seymour, oh, you have to become a Republican. It'll be so, we'll give you the, the best district in the city. You'll never be challenged. You'll be there. It'll be a lifetime job. Uh, all you have to do is vote for uh, our man for majority leader. And when he got off the uh, speaker phone, I said, thank you, uh, uh, Mr. Bruno, but the answer is no. If I were ever to change uh, political parties, it would not be because of money. It'll be because of a change in principles, and I doubt if that's going to happen. So there are always you know, possibilities, but I would be opposed to any political party. And I don't consider this to be reform to approach people and say, would you like to have a better job? Would you like to bring into your district millions of dollars more than you are now? I think it's, it's unethical.